Hello, this is Michael Tellinger, and I'm in Portland, Oregon, USA, with my good friend Mark Walsh, right behind me. I'm very excited to ask you questions and show off your incredible discoveries and inventions of how to prepare metal to be bent by the hand, and that's yeah. what I recall you first telling me that you, you know how to bend metal with your hands. Yes. And that's really because you discovered a way to prepare it so that you can bend it with your hands. Correct. Correct. So, all right, so I'm just gonna quickly show just some of the examples you got here, which is just absolutely incredible. You can see some of the, the metals that have been prepared and bent. And uh, there on the edges, on the corners, are really the, the I guess your secret uh, discovery and invention on of how to prepare the metal so that it can be bent and molded. Here's a a beautiful piece that you can take us through what this actually was. Let me just get in there and uh, and then some of these other examples down here of bent metal and this beautiful little <laughs> stove, oven, <laughs> replica. When you bend metal, typically we bend it in a press break. And the tool we use, we have a die and a punch, and you bend metal. And what you're doing is you're creating tension and compression. And eventually over time, with vibrations and harmonics and stuff like that, you, be, you have a stress zone, so eventually it will crack, any kind of metal. And so, our goal was not only to figure out how to fold metal by hand, but how to fold metal so that you don't have tension and compression, so there are no stresses. We started with this sample, which is kind of a hybrid, and the idea is this is a, a bend and a twist. And it wasn't fully successful, but we were able to do a lot of things with it. This is a, a trophy, but it was a scaled version of an interior for a car, which I designed for BMW. So this is a dashboard, so just so that when people are looking at it, because, you know, from this angle, it looks like a weird animal head <laughs> with, you know, the skull here and stuff. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So what are we actually looking at is a, a dashboard that you did for BMW. Yes. And then this was the award yes. that they gave you, a miniature version of it, is it? Which I had to design this as well. Oh, yeah. And I gave out the awards and I gave one to myself, of course. But this went to uh, the head of design of BMW and, and everyone that was involved in creating this um, one-of-a-kind car. This dashboard sits inside of a million-dollar car that is in the museum in Munich. Okay. There was a chassis that we built for Bentley. Oh, for now, Bentley. Now, okay. this chassis was, instead of like this really fancy stainless interior, we did a, a T6 aluminum chassis that was all folded pieces to make actual tubes, structures. It was all held together with glue and rivets. And uh, we sent it to them and they assembled it with some other parts and some carbon fiber and they put it on a vibrational test, which is a common test that they would do with car chassis. Typically about 40 hours, the welds start cracking, pieces start falling off, and eventually the frame would disintegrate through um, the vibration at about 40 hours. Uh, our chassis ran at 90 plus hours with zero failures. It's because the, the metal really is happy. There are no stresses in the stress zone. The stresses actually flow through. When we ran uh, FEA analysis on this, there are no red zones here. The stresses will flow through the bend along with any stresses, harmonic frequencies, vibration, pass right through the bend. And the reason that is, is because when the metal folds, the bend is not a bend, it twists. Okay, so let's, let's talk about the metals, right. So that, that is aluminum or aluminium? This is and T6, this is the aircraft version, which is highly brittle, high tensile strength. So this is what they use for aircraft. And when you bend it, it doesn't weaken the metal, it strengthens the metal. That is just unbelievable. Because you're creating structure, just like in this, right? So this is a structurally sound piece. I've put curves into it. And if uh, people that understand metal, if you add folds and curves into things, and you put an arc into something, you've strengthened it. Yes. And so, you know, some of our designs, you know, we'll, we'll do arcs and curves to strengthen things. Um, this is uh, standard 304 stainless steel, which is pretty easy to bend, um, but not by hand. You need a press brake, you need tooling, a tool and a die, and yeah. a lot of tonnage to bend it. 
um, but I can unbend it as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. And I can bend it back again with no spring back, and this is stainless steel. That's, that is just amazing. I mean, you just did that right there with absolute ease. You just yeah. took stainless steel, you bent it, and it stayed in the position you bent it into, and then you bent it right back, and it's staying in the position. Yeah, it, and, 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 and with the, the less uh, tensile strength, the more cycles. So if you're using like regular steel or regular aluminum or stainless, you can cycle it. It becomes like a hinge. Right. This, this is the most controversial piece here. Uh, this is G4 titanium. As you mentioned, this has been tested. Bentley did the, the, the stress test, just to remind our yes. viewers again, how long did they, did they put 90 plus hours, and they took it off the machine because they said it, it, nothing was happening. That's okay. the longest they've ever ran any chassis uh, in history. And, uh, and the and, reason... And, but let me add to that. So this chassis, there's no welding. No welding. Went together let's with balloon rivets and two guys, myself and one other guy, built this chassis with our hands, with some folding assistant. We had jigs, no equipment, hand, hand equipment. So you took a piece of metal, you cut it and prepared it, and then you belt, bent it by hand into the chassis of a Bentley. Yes. And not only that, not only two people built it by hand without equipment, it's the lightest and strongest chassis that's ever been built. You fold up the metal, you slide your pieces of wood in, you put a screw in, you're done. Give me the next piece. Let's go on to the next section. Mm. The time that you save building a house. And this is obviously still just the tip of the iceberg. Um, I could build furniture with this. Really fancy chairs that are two pieces. And I can create the curves of the lumbar, create structure into the legs. Beautiful pieces of metal art that actually are structured and functional. The bicycle industry is huge. Motorcycle, automotive, construction, I-beams. Uh, the thing is, when you're folding it, you don't need heavy equipment. You can have um, some of the stuff stamped out in, on a roll, and you can roll out I-beams and make structures on the fly, on the job site. 